Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to test your saltwater tank for beginners. This is this is by far um, the easiest test kit you can use for beginners. Now, I like it when I first started. And now there's better, better test kits to make sure you have the accurate readings that you want. But for beginners, this is a good go. Good, good to go go to um it's it's not expensive at all so it gets the job done so this is the api marine saltwater master test kit it also has a freshwater one too so you you can check out so if i flip it over um you got your ph readings ammonia nitrite nitrate and right here we have the bottles the nitrate bottle one bottle two you gonna need those both the nitrite one bottle ammonia you got one bottle and the number two bottle that needs to be added together also and the p then the ph so i'm uh oh here's um the little um that comes with the test kit um the glass tubes that you need to drop your liquids in you can see it says add 10 drops so for bottle for the nitrate i will need 10 drops of this plus an added and added 10 drops for bottle number two for the nitrate. So I'm gonna demonstrate this whole this whole setup. So here we go. Okay, before you add your your um, drops to the glass tubes, you want to get your sample water from your your salt water tank and drop it in. You want to fill the fill the glass tube up to this line right here to that line it doesn't need to be exactly at the line it's whatever but it can be slightly above whatever i like to one thing i like to use is a syringe so that so i don't have to use this glass tube and get water out of my tank and um try to measure out to the five milliliters spot and doing that also you're with the with the past testing that you do use on these glass tubes you don't want to put chemicals in your tank from these bottles so I like to use this syringe so what I'm, I'm gonna do is this is this is my tank water I'll squeeze put all that in there so that's good to go and then now I'm gonna use the night the nitrate the nitrate bottle number one first one two three four five six seven All right, that's 10 drops. 10 drops of the the nitrate. The nitrate, I mean. You want to do the same thing with the bottle number 2. 10 drops. And then you need you need to put your cap on. And then just shake it. You wanna get a good shake. And and bam, you're done. All you gotta do is just match the color. 
match match the color of what you have from your result. So it's yellow. Hey, I got zero. That's that's how you um test for the night the nitrate. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the nitrite. But this one's different. It says add five drops. So, you, okay, five drops of the nitrite. That's it. That's, that's all the amount you need. Get the cap. Oops. Kind of hard doing it with one hand. No one. Hold on. Okay. Shake it. Go back to your card readings. Go, go to the color you have. Match it up. Zero. So, so nitrite is done. Same thing with uh, ammonia. This time it says bottle number one and bottle number two. I'm going to add these two together. Okay, always do bottle number one first. And this one, this one is eight drops. Eight drops. Eight drops. Same thing with bottle number two, eight drops. Cap. Let's see. Shake it. And I believe with the ammonia, you got to wait for like, I think five minutes for the results to come in. I believe so. I'm not too sure. Um, basically, you want to stay out of the green range. So, if it's not green, it's good. <laughs> so, that's the ammonia. And lastly, the pH. Um, add the five drops and check your results. Shake, shake. Hey, go to the the color chart. You want to see what color the color matches, and I believe mine is at 8.2. So yeah, there you have it. And you're you're all done. <laughs> so yeah, there's these are my results. There's the tank. So my tank is done cycling, so I was just wanting to test, make it, make it, make, test the tank to make sure I want to put livestock in it. So, so I'll, you always want to test your tank, um, and for beginners, this is a perfect test kit for you. It's simple, easy. Do just gotta. Do what the bottles tell you. It's that simple. And you always, when you're done testing, you want you want to discard this in the in the drain or whatever, and rinse rinse it out with tap water. Rin, rinse the glass tubes out with tap water, so you don't want to um, have different effects when you keep testing and mixing in different chemicals together. So always rinse it out good for for future use 
And there you have it.